Welcome to this video lesson on basics of portfolio construction. After this video, you will be able to construct a portfolio with two stocks, calculate portfolio returns, calculate covariance and interpret the same, and calculate portfolio standard deviation. These concepts form the basic building blocks for modern portfolio theory. You can construct a portfolio of two stocks, by the equation shown on the screen. For example, let us take the stocks Microsoft and Google. Here, A and B are the percentage of capital allocation to Microsoft and Google respectively. To calculate average daily returns of the portfolio, you will need annualized returns of Microsoft and Google. The annualized returns of Microsoft and Google are 17.81% and 24.99% respectively. These are calculated for a period of two years, from January 2016 to December 2017. This period is arbitrarily chosen. For simplicity, we have allocated equal weights to both the stocks. The portfolio returns come out to 21.4%. Now, let us understand how to calculate covariance. Mathematically, it is calculated using the formula shown. For example, let's take two series of data, X, and Y. X bar and Y bar, represent the mean values of the respective series, and, N, the number of values in either of the series. If you substitute these values in the formula, the value of covariance comes out to be 2.75. Covariance measures how both stocks change together. The value of covariance, can either be positive, negative, or zero. For example, if the covariance is positive, then X and Y move in the same direction. If the covariance is negative, then X and Y move in the opposite direction. And if the covariance is zero, then there is no relationship between X and Y. We will use covariance in calculating portfolio standard deviation. For a two-stock portfolio as in our case, it can be calculated using the formula shown. The standard deviation values of Microsoft and Google, for the same period, are 17.81% and 19.15% respectively. Also, the covariance between Microsoft and Google is calculated, and is equal to 0 0.0229. For equal weight allocation, the portfolio standard deviation comes out to be 16.89%. You can practice all these calculations in the upcoming IPython notebook. In the next section, you will learn a popular capital allocation method known as modern portfolio theory.